All right, so what we're going to learn in this video is how to put an image inside of your text. There are a few different ways to do this, and I will try to cover them both as quickly as possible. What you're looking at right now is a photo in the background with transparent letter cutouts and then some shadow, um, like a drop shadow. And we're doing this in Photoshop this time. So I will walk through how to create this and one more other uh, version. What you'll want to do is just open up any photo that you want to use as a background. Then decide what you're going to uh, place as text on top of the photo. And in the example that I showed before, I used the word spring, so I'm going to do that. So um, I'm going to try to do it as large as possible to really take up the, the space of the image and capture enough detail. So just type in your word. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use a thicker font, um, something a little more uh, weight to it. Okay, so I just changed it to a different font, Impact, and I, I made it a little larger. So I'm going to rename that layer to Spring. And at this point, what you want to do is create another background layer or uh, a color layer. So just go ahead and add a new layer. And you can name it. I'm going to do Pink, so I'll just name it Pink and I will uh, add the color to So with that layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my selection tool and select fill with a color. And in this case, you can actually select a color right from the photo if you want to. Um, you can also do something a little darker or a little brighter, maybe blue. So I said I would do pink, so I'm going to choose a pink color. Okay, and so now you have the layer pink. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that below the word spring. And now I'm going to click on the word spring. And while on the word spring, I'm going to right click and hit select pixels. So right now it's selected the outline of the word spring and instead of the actual word I want it to select the um, the opposite. So I'm going to right click over the top here and hit select inverse. So now what it's doing is it's selecting all of the area outside of the word spring. Now that I have that selected I'm going to click on the pink layer and while I am on the pink layer, I'm going to come over here and click on a layer mask. So now what you've done is you've created a mask in the shape of the outline of the word spring and next all you have to do is turn off the layer spring. So now you can turn it on and off again, but basically what you've done is you've created a mask or a cutout in the pink layer, which allows you to also, you know, turn that layer off and still have the image behind it or put it on and have the mask in front of it. What this does for you now is you can add that shadow. So if you'll remember, I had on my example a little bit of a, a shadow or a shading. So what you do is just double click here and pull up the layer styles. If you scroll down, there is the drop shadow box. Go ahead and click that. And you can see now the pink layer with this spring cut out it's creating a shadow as though it's sort of hovering above the image. So you can um, leave the shadow as is or you can um, rotate 
you can rotate the angle of that shadow and you can also change the color of the shadow um, in this case it's using this sort of brownish color uh, from my previous setting which is fine it looks great you could use black instead you could change the op opacity to something darker or something lighter but anyways it gives it depth and just makes it really interesting so that's how you do that in Photoshop now let's move on to one more way you can create a clipping mask or a image inside of a text so let's start over so I've started over with my um, with my image here and I left the text spring so I'm just going to turn that back on and so what you do is you just right click and select the pixels again but this time instead of uh, the other steps that we went through just leave that spring or your text select and before you move on you want to move your image layer to the top layer so now you've got your clipping mask and the image on the top so what you're going to do is make sure that your image layer is selected and go ahead and click on clipping mask so now you can see the image is inside of the text but there's no background so if you want a background you can go ahead and add a new layer of any color you want and i'm going to move that to the bottom of all the layers and so as far as a color goes we'll just use the same one that we did before but the difference here is if I add a drop shadow to the, the spring text it's not going to look the way the other one is because it's different instead of it being a cutout in the color pink it's actually a cutout in the the spring image so it's just a different way of doing it um, so you can see I'll, I'll click through you can see the difference there are different reasons to want to use one over the other it's purely preference or whatever design you're trying to create and you can you can literally use this for anything it doesn't have to be text it could be a shape it could be a circle it could be a star it could be anything that you're wanting to create a um a clipping mask for as long as it has its own shape to it so now the next way that we're going to explore how to put an image inside of text is through the the uh, software PicMonkey, which is an online web-based software. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so when you start a new project in PicMonkey, just make sure that your background is white and go ahead and click on text and find the appropriate bold text that you want to use. You can use whatever text you want. Um, I just want to use this bold one so we're gonna do the same thing that we did before and we'll just use the word spring for this example so I'm going to center it and make it as large as possible and just really oversize it to be super super large so okay now that you have the word spring you need to overlay an image on top of the word spring so we're going to come over here to overlays and you can just pick whatever um, overlay image you want or just add your own I'm gonna go ahead and add my own okay so I've added that photo I'm gonna rotate it and uh, really stretch it over the word itself and then this is where the magic happens. All you have to do is click under blend modes, click and go to lighten. So it depends on what color text you have placed inside of your image. You may have to choose something different, but lighten will work for this example. As long as you create black text, it should be fine. Um, and so you have officially achieved the same or similar 
results as we did in um, in Photoshop and you did it in a fraction of the time. So that is how you do that in Photoshop and in PicMonkey. Mm -hmm.